My name is Pet Kuturmana, I'm from Bulgaria, artist working with new media, technology and traditional media as well. Um, I'm here to complete my project Jingo Karaoke, to present it uh, in the public space and um, it's really related to the topic of the residency because um, on my point of view, the, the, the project is about, uh, about the relation between popular singing, popular songs, especially the war songs, and the beginning of the mass media, media recording and distribution. And, uh, it brings the, the question how everything started, how we started combining the message with the, with the mass media. Um, now for us it's, everything is so logical and so connected, uh, but 100 years ago it wasn't like this, simply because the technology was totally different. And this is why I needed very old technology in my project, um, the phonograph. I deduced the phonograph for kind of karaoke, inviting the audience to sing a very important song for the regions I attended, for the locations I attended during my residency. Um, Actually, this song changed a lot the history of these places, but unfortunately, people don't realize this. And uh, this is actually very typical for me because as an artist, I work with invisible processes, uh, something that is uh, hidden and it's, it's still influencing our lives, but in fact, even if it's really in front of us, we don't realize it. Um, and yeah, I try to visualize, to visualize and to present to the audience in attractive, of course, way, entertaining almost entertaining them, all these processes that are, that are really important, but still people don't think about them. And particularly this project is about the history of the places um, that are included in the residency, and it's also about the history of the media, of what we use as artists in our daily lives nowadays, how, how everything started there, once again. It's, m it's more conceptual project, to be honest. I, of course, I try to set up everything in the way I want to have it, but um, what's important is uh, my research by asking people or, or inviting them to sing if they connect somehow um, or th if, they have, if they can find any connection between something that was kind of reason for, for them to be in the current situation with their current situation. But uh, what I really realized with this project, and it's kind of important, is that un unfortunately people don't care anymore. And that's, uh, it's not even about knowledge, because as a knowledge, it's, it's here. They have it, they have the information, um, there are some processes that I have to think more about them, 
Um, it's like, it's probably part of our nature as human beings. We either want to see what we, we, we see what we want to see, what is good and nice for us, or something we've been told to see or to realize. And it means even we are, we pretend to be very intelligent, we are in a very bad situation because we probably trust too much or don't care enough. I don't know what's the problem. But there's, there, there is always reason, a reason for what we have now. And it's just like simple research, simple check to realize how everything started and what was the way of one particular process. Like either in my project, the historical um, chain, the chain between, between the events that ended with the current situation or in media, media arts, I wouldn't say media art because it's not so, it's not so about, uh, it's not so about art anymore. It's more like the enormous technology that we use, that become, we rely on, it become almost main part of our life technology and it's so new in fact like recording and distributing songs is a process that is less than it's about 130 years old it's about century old it's the same with probably with the cars but somehow people think more about cars or technology that is, um, they don't think how one century recording and distributing of music, for example, changed totally our lives or, uh, and of course it's not about music anymore, it's about um, pop culture, it's about mass media, it's about the entertainment industry, showbiz, and all these all these processes are so new. I don't know. And we should like especially we as artists. What I realize is that the theoreticians in the media arts, for example, they are so focused on some important, definitely important but like they don't try to see or to show the, the whole picture. Like when I attend events, when I go somewhere, they always pick some particular topic and get deep, deep, probably too deep into the topic. But um, we should really take care how, like, because just following the processes that were during during this boom of recording and distributing technology, um, we can easily understand what's going to be in the future, for example. Or we can we can prepare we can get more prepared. I don't know. For me it's um, it's not anymore about the current technology. It's more about how everything, how this happened. Uh, how is your work related to transitory art or how do you perceive transitory art? Um, yeah, but the entire work I have this project is about the transition. It's historical, ref it's, there is this 
historical reference in my project, but it's it's about really about the transition and. Uh, Yeah, and, and I'm an, as an artist, I'm always interested in in the process itself. It's really part, uh, important part of my work. When you start from point A and you get then to point B, and the entire transition between these two is very important. And in some cases. It's like uh, when I start from from the beginning, I don't know where I'm going to get at the end. It happened many times with me, and when I use technology in my projects, simply because I don't really. Usually, most of the artists they have the technology or some technology. They like it. They understand it, and after they are familiar, since they are familiar with this technology, they start working with it. In my cases, it's usually opposite. I have some concept or some need, and after that I start researching about proper technology, and if it doesn't exist, it happened a few times with me, I even create my own technology or my own whatever I need for the project to complete it. And this is why I mean I say I don't really I don't even know where is point B. It's really about the process in some cases in my work. Can you describe your project in context of your practice? This particular project, Jingo Karaoke, is um, it's really important for me because um, this is uh, with this project actually found that answer of the questions I had before to start it. And uh, in, I, in some cases I have projects that are like uh, as a result of something. It's like logical result of something. This project was it was very different than what I do simply because the same thing. I started from a point that I knew the beginning, at the beginning, but the end was unpredictable and the result was even surprising for me, if you understand what I mean, in this particular project, because this is not typical output for my work. No, it's tip, uh, for my work. It's like usually. What's the um, difference? Technology. I have usually a lot of technology. Mm -hmm. In this case, I don't have much. Mm -hmm. It's not about technology. It's kind of a gesture. Mm -hmm. It's not typical for me at all. So can we say it's much more romantic in a way, or poetic? It's more entertaining, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like very entertaining. Mm -hmm. It's about, yeah, it's about like, um, okay, I will explain this in, in a different way. If you have simple idea and you decide kind of easy way to present that idea and people can get, most of the people, the audience, can get the idea through the through the format you have decided. Okay, in some cases you need to write a book to explain the idea, yeah. or it's probably a movie. But because I'm not 
writer or filmmaker, but I have the idea. And I, to explain the idea, I need probably hours every time to explain to everybody. And this is why it's kind of escape. I try to create something that is definitely entertaining, attractive to the people, to the audience. And because I do believe even they don't get the idea, they somehow catch it. Even on an irrational level. And this is like a solution that the only solution I have found if the, the idea is so complicated. I mean, you, can exp you cannot explain the entire background of the, of the project. And, but to be honest, you provide something that is good even for the kids. They like it, they love it. And uh, they could think why this guy made this, why was that, and to get something. Otherwise, there is no chance. And this is also answer what is typical. Because I want to be understood in general. I don't want to have so complicated projects. I know that people wouldn't get it. And yeah, try, I will try to have something easy, understandable, that people will get, that will, they, they go and they say, oh yeah, I got it. Every artist prefers this. Yeah, we want to be, we want if people like, understand, yeah, it's true. But this project is not, in this case, it's not possible, simply impossible. I have a few more projects like this, and um, there is no, there is no solution. But this is really, this project has so many, so many references. I cannot, it's not possible to explain such project in an easy way. Like I tried, it's interesting because always when I present it, there's at least one person, at least one person, who gets the story. This means there are people who think about the background of their lives, how they, how everything happened, and they are usually like ordinary people. It's so strange, but so many, like so many ordinary people, they think about conspiracy theories. They they read about history, and they are prepared. And it's funny that it should be my project should be targeted, or the main target group should be artists or theoreticians who are involved in media arts, but they don't really get it. Yeah. But they are always some kind of simple guys. Like here in Cyprus, there was a guy, really like he stayed till I explained everything to him. He asked so many questions and they, they were the right questions actually, he asked me. And that's so strange because usually these people they don't they don't they are not even interested so much in art in general. I I didn't ask this particular guy, but I'm pretty much sure he's not going to shows, he's not interested in art. It's such projects are more about their their lives. And um, but this point, this place, Cyprus, it's really like in my T-shirt. You see, you, there is too much history, too much politics here. 
and people think much more about everything from even, even the near, near past than than average country where people are more focused on their daily routine, how to earn money, how to struggle with the crisis. Yeah, they definitely think how how everything happened here and the disaster, the political disaster that they have in Cyprus. An economical recently, an ecological. And they fight three Actually, it's a unique place. They have to take care about political issues, the economical issues, and the ecological issues. But for a small state, it is a, a bit too much. And you, you don't have even neighbors. You cannot involve your neighbors in your problems. Because they are island. They are in the middle of the sea and cannot ask their neighbors to help. Yeah, they, this is a strange place. I'm curious how they are going to deal with this in the nearest future. You have around the globe, there are few really kind of hotspots, like places where like, you see all the processes together, but you, do, you don't need to record this. <laughs> it's a chat already. We are talk, I'm talking. But Cyprus is really for, for this. Like in Asia, for me, there are two places so interesting, like Singapore and Hong Kong. I don't know America so well. Probably Cuba is such a place. In Europe. Which is similar to Cyprus. There is no place. But they are not actually in Europe. Geographically, Cyprus is not in Europe. If, actually, if Cyprus is Europe, Turkey is also in Europe. It's so <laughs> funny because they have uh, both countries have problems with one solution. <laughs>